That's it. Oh, he's great. I love him. <laughs> um, so I don't know where I said this about Joe Rogan, but I said that I get intimidated by him. Did I say that here? Yeah, multiple you said times. It multiple times. It's a compilation. <laughs> They made a, I feel like people could make one from different podcasts. Well, somebody today. did because <laughs> so Saturday night. I, so this is what I've been doing. This is what I've been doing. I when I go to the comedy store, and there are like obviously there are people above me in this pay scale and in terms of the world of comedy. I know who's below me, and I treat them accordingly. Okay, not mean. Yeah, but. Oh, don't die. But I'm not intimidated. There are also those that I felt made it that didn't deserve it, but that's just my opinion, and I don't. I treat them according or accordingly. But there are those that I respect and I'm intimidated by. And Rogan, and I think Mark Maron maybe, could, and Bill Burr maybe. Although I'm very, I'm friends with all three of them. Okay, but you know, I like to be open and say <laughs> that there, I can't truly be myself. I think more with Mark now because he's well aware of what I've been going through and he's reached out. Mm. You know, he, what a nice guy. Um, but, but you know, so Joe was there with his wife Saturday night and he was driving away from the store, but then he backs up. He sees me. He gets out of his car. He goes, what's up, fucker? I go, hi. <laughs> when was the last time you saw him? Like a, I see him every night. Oh, so you see him all the time. Yeah, but I always hug him and leave. Oh. So I go, hi. And he goes, so what? Why are you intimidated at me? I go, I'm not. He's a bat. <laughs> what? I'm not beef. No, I go, you know, I, I'm not. He's like, you, I, I heard you, you know, somebody gave me a clip or a couple clips. And he goes, I love you. You know that, right? I fucking think you're so funny and I love you so much. And then, you know what I realized what it was? It's a Korean thing. And I'm going to say this. I think that's what it is. Because in the Korean culture, your elders, you have to respect them. And I have that respect for him. I Not only is he a great stand-up, you know, um, but he also, you know, I was associated with Mencia back in the day because of the video that came out because I used to open for Mencia mm -hmm. a lot. And, um, you know, b during that time, it was very uncomfortable with me and... Rogan and that group of guys, you know, Red Band and whoever might be around that circle at the time. And so I kind of built from the ground up a relationship with them over the fucking 15 years, right? And now I feel like I've gained the respect of, you know, comics and what, what and whatnot. Anyway, um, but I get, you know, I don't want, you know, I don't want to be intrusive, when I respect somebody like that, I don't res I don't want to be intrusive because when he he shows up, comics just crowd around him, right? And he plays, you know. And I I just don't. Why would I be there? You know, I say hi, a hug, I get out, right? But you know, by him saying that was so gracious, it really was really gracious. He's like, I want you on the show. When can you do it? This and that. So I'm going to do it. And um, I'm now really confident about doing it. I think I know now that I can do it. I, I can do anything. If if Ellen DeGeneres had a podcast, I wouldn't be intimidated. Mm -hmm. You know, when I did Kate Hudson and Oliver, I'm not contaminated. It's just Rogan. <laughs> you said contaminated. <laughs> did I say that? It might have been contaminated. Okay. It's a, I made a mistake. But we're all contaminated. Yeah, we're so it's you know, okay. you know, I'm tired of the shame. I'm telling you know what I I, I'm not gonna allow the shame. It's, it's, it's like okay. Asian shame. Asian shame. Yeah.